Nobody's going to do a deal with you unless they know who you are and they feel comfortable with you. This is what I believe. I'm sharing that with you for nothing. Just get out there and succeed. Well, I think that going into the conversation or the relationship uh, that you really don't care if they do a deal or not. You're not there to necessarily do a deal, you know, because at the end of the day, business is unlimited. Closings happen every day. You know, there's plenty right. of business out there, you know, right. but nobody's going to do a deal with you unless they know who you are and they feel comfortable with you. Right. So your number one job in sales is to make your prospects feel comfortable with you. If you can't get there, then we're not even going to get to the part of doing business. You know, they're not going to do business with you if they don't feel comfortable with you. So you have to you have to communicate in a way that makes people feel comfortable with you. You're, you have to be genuine about the fact that you're there to actually help them. Like you're literally there not to try to close them. You're there first and foremost to make them feel comfortable with who you are. And then through that, once they feel comfortable and we've broken through that barrier, now we can find out why they want to buy, why they want to sell, why they want to do what they're trying to do, and then tell them what we can do to help them do that. That's kind of the step-by-step -step process and um, you know, most training out there is teaching agents how to high pressure people and how to figure out what the prospect can do for the agent. What, what I wanna do is, is teach agents how to figure out what they can do for the prospect, not what the prospect can do for them. So it's a 180 of what mainstream training, real estate training will teach you. I think what I'm teaching is slowly becoming a mainstream thing. The biggest thing when, when, when people want to get in, they want to get their real estate license, become real estate agents. A lot of them think it's going to be, oh yeah, I can sell a house, I can do this, I can do that. But one of the things they don't understand is that the necessity of having to generate business. I noticed I didn't use the word lead generation, those, those two words together, it's generate business, generate, generate relationships, let's call it that, right? But there's always going to be the fear and that trepidation. I mean, you, how did you do it? I mean, did you make, was it phone calls you made? Was it was it door knocking? Was that one of the things that you did to generate your relationships? Listen, man, top producers do three things really well. They talk to the most people with the best intentions and build the biggest personal brand around that. So when I'm, when I'm evaluating a real estate agent's business, you know, sure, I want to know how many closings and listings you, you, you got going on and stuff. But more so, I want to know how many calls you're making. That out of that, how many uh, how many are you actually talking to? And then out of the people you're talking to, how many did you actually connect with on a deeper level? So the amount of calls you make tells me where your work ethic is. Then out of the people you talk to, the amount you connected with, say you made a hundred calls. Okay, that's that's decent. How often are you making those hundred calls? Out of those hundred calls, you're talking to 15 people. So out of the 15, how did you act, how many did you actually connect with? Are you connected with, you know, five or two or three or eight? You know, those are the numbers I need to know because I, that tells me where your work ethic is, how bad you want it, and then it tells me where your communication skills are, you know? So then I can dive into where, where we're having a problem. Are we not making enough calls or are we not talking to people the right way with the best intentions and making them feel comfortable? Or is it a combination of both? And there's so many ways to skin a cat. There's so many different ways you can, you know, lead generate. You can do for sale by owners, expire, circle prospecting, internet leads, you know, sphere of influence, open houses, you know, social media. There's so many things that you can do. I think the most effective is, is let's pick out the exact property owners that own the exact price range, the exact type of property we want to sell that's really close to our office. We don't really have to drive too far whenever we have to show properties and stuff. You know, let's talk to the people who already own the type of property we want to sell, right? And let's get those prospects for the cheapest price. Okay, so that, oh, that's... You get those prospects for the cheapest price. You're talking about, about ads? No, I'm talking about pick out a neighborhood and get all the owner's contact information. And, and, that's, and that's costing you almost nothing, right? Right, almost nothing. It's two and a half cents per property owner, right? As opposed to paying $3 for a Facebook lead or 100 or $200 for a Zillow lead for random people we don't even know where they're at. This so is targeted. Research, you're, you're, and, and you're determining who's got the, is it, is it you're just taking a, a geographical area or you're doing the research to see who possibly might might be, like in terms of, uh, of age, that they're there or they're... Um, I don't care about any of that, my guy. I don't care about any of that, my guy. And I'm not worried about trying to do a bunch of research and waste a bunch of time that I should be making calls and seeing what I can do to help people. I'm gonna find a subdivision that has the average price point in the market and then I'm gonna call those owners. Real simple stuff. That's the point I was trying to that's the point I was trying to get to. Mm. <laughs> that you're not you're not doing you're not doing all this complicated stuff 
to get to it and it's a lot easier said than done am i right it depends on how you look at it again if you if you tell yourself that it's hard then it will be you know okay. Pe people look at phone calls and say oh it's it's you know people hang up on you they cuss you out they reject you and stuff and it's like that's fun <music>